love coffee, but do not know how this drink affects your body. Now we will reveal all the secrets, and you will have no more doubts. We will tell you how coffee affects every organ, and, of course, the liver, because this organ is one of the most important in our body. By the way, did you know that the liver is able to function for more than 600 years? The heart and brain are designed for at least 300 years, but unfortunately, we have learned to kill ourselves in 70 years. We're sure you care about your health. So, if you want to become the master of your health, put a like and we'll get started. Let's face it, if you're not drinking coffee every day, you're depriving your body of tons of nutrients and micronutrients. Recent studies have confirmed that coffee's benefits are not limited to its antioxidant effects alone. Coffee was honored and praised back in the Middle Ages, but in Europe, the beans appeared only in the 17 centuries, thanks to Venetian merchants who brought it from the Arab world. You will probably be interested to know how and when coffee came to America. One of the first places where coffee appeared in the early 18th century were the Caribbean islands, including Martinique and Jamaica, thanks to European colonizers, especially the French and Spanish, who began cultivating coffee plantations. It is believed that the first coffee trees in Martinique were planted in 1723 by Gabriel de Key from coffee beans brought from Paris. Coffee arrived in North America somewhat later. During the colonial era, during and after the American Revolution, coffee became popular as an alternative to tea, in part due to the boycott of British tea following the Stamp Act and the Boston Tea Party in 1773. These events led to an increase in the demand and popularity of coffee in the United States. Subsequently, with increased urbanization and the Industrial Revolution, coffee became an important part of American culture. Coffee houses sprang up where one could enjoy the flavorful beverage brought from distant lands. Today, coffee is drunk for its great taste, aroma, and to cheer up. But does everyone know the true value of coffee? Let's explore together. The composition of coffee is now fully known. It contains caffeine, trigonoline, nitrogenous substances, lipids, carbohydrates, organic acids, oligoelements, and vitamins. In combination, drinking coffee has the following effects on our body. After a cup of strong drink, physical activity improves. Caffeine, the main active ingredient of coffee, a naturally occurring alkaloid, stimulates the central nervous system, improves physical activity, and increases stamina, increases brain activity. Caffeine improves cognitive functions of the brain such as attention, concentration, memory, and reaction. Coffee can help us get energized and stay more productive at work and in our daily lives. The risk of developing chronic diseases is reduced. Did you know that regular coffee consumption helps reduce the risk of developing diseases such as type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, and even some cancers? This is primarily due to its antioxidant properties, which help protect the body from free radical buildup. Drinking coffee in the morning will improve your mood for the whole day. Caffeine stimulates the production of the hormones endorphins and serotonin, which are responsible for a good mood and a sense of satisfaction. Therefore, moderate consumption of ground beans will help to lift your mood and cope with mild depression. Regular coffee consumption reduces the risk of developing Parkinson's disease. The fact that coffee contains organic substances and acids that help protect nerve cells in the brain from damage. Scientists note that coffee drinkers are 18% less at risk of the disease. This is not all the properties that coffee has. Thanks to the rich composition of the beans, it is possible to make not only tasty, but also useful drinks. Reduces the risk of heart disease. Caffeine can increase blood pressure in the short term, but its regular consumption reduces the risk of heart disease such as heart attack and coronary artery disease. This is because the beans contain antioxidants and organic acids that are beneficial to the cardiovascular system. The risk of liver pathology is reduced. Natural coffee helps protect the liver from diseases such as cirrhosis, non-alcoholic fatty disease, hepatitis liver cancer. Regular use has an accumulative effect, so a cup of invigorating drink will be very useful for breakfast. In more detail, the effect of coffee on the liver we will talk further. However, like any product, it should be consumed in moderation. Too much coffee can lead to unwanted side effects such as insomnia, anxiety, and high blood pressure. But how does coffee affect the liver after all? 
The liver is an organ that plays a crucial role in processing food, purifying the blood and disposing of toxins. It is also responsible for producing bile, which helps break down fats and improves digestion. Coffee contains many active components, including caffeine, antioxidants, and polyphenols. These substances have a positive effect on liver cells, improving liver function and protecting it from damage. Several foreign studies have shown that coffee consumption is associated with a reduced risk of liver cirrhosis, which is a serious disease that leads to organ dysfunction and even death. Coffee also helps prevent fatty liver degeneration, which occurs when fat cells accumulate excessively in the organ. In addition, the drink effectively protects the liver from alcohol intoxication, helps to recover faster after poisoning. Epidemiological studies show that taking coffee three or four cups a day reduces mortality among those infected with HIV and viral hepatitis C. Moderate consumption of this beverage reduces the risk of cancer by an average of 10%. Do you drink natural coffee? Share in the comments how many cups a day you consider optimal for you. How does coffee affect blood vessels? Naturally, the effects of coffee are not limited to the liver alone. Due to the high content of the natural alkaloid caffeine, coffee has a stimulating effect. When regularly ingested, it eliminates fatigue, increases blood circulation, and stimulates the functions of the cardiovascular system. But not all the vessels of coffee have the same effect. So, vasodilating effect of caffeine has on veins, arteries, heart and kidney vessels. On the contrary, the vasoconstrictive effect of the alkaloid has on the vessels of the digestive system. This helps to improve the breakdown of food, normalize digestion, stimulate intestinal peristalsis. Also, when drinking coffee narrows the vessels of the pelvic organs, become less painful menstruation, but especially strong caffeine narrows the vessels of the brain. Thanks to a cup of coffee goes spasm, headache, discomfort. In bad weather, a small dosage of caffeine in the blood improves the general condition of the person but coffee is not recommended for people with chronic vascular diseases, also suffering from vegetovascular dystonia. Now, pay attention. In what cases does coffee cause harm to the body? Unfortunately, like all healthy products, in large quantities coffee can cause harm to the body. When is it dangerous? If there are no severe diseases of the blood vessels and heart, coffee will have a favorable effect on the body. A couple of cups a day will not harm health. But in the presence of serious heart pathologies, even a small content of caffeine can provoke severe pain in the heart area. Therefore, it is better not to drink coffee with hypertension so as not to provoke jumps from the real pressure. Also, caffeine is contraindicated in ischemic heart disease, tachycardia, vascular aneurysm, glaucoma. General contraindications include the following. 1. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. Caffeine penetrates through the placenta and breast milk this may adversely affect the health of the child. 2. Insomnia and other sleep disorders. Caffeine acts excitatory, so it can lead to a violation of the normal mode of falling asleep. 3. Gastritis and gastric ulcer with increased acidity. 4. Taking certain medications, birth control pills, antidepressants, diuretics. In addition, some people have an individual intolerance to coffee, which will also lead to negative consequences. Therefore, if you are not sure whether you can consume coffee, it is better to consult your doctor. Otherwise, coffee is a useful, versatile and tasty drink that has a complex effect on the whole body. With its help, you will prevent many diseases, be more alert and active. If you want to diversify the taste and aroma, add a little honey, a slice of lemon or cinnamon to your coffee. More information on this topic can be found on the links in the description under this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.